Kiwata channel. Previously for our episode on crustacean dissection, we tackled about the external anatomy of the crab. Today, join me in dissecting the crab to learn more about its internal anatomy. Insert the iris scissors into an angle of the joint between the cephalothorax and the abdomen. A thin layer of tissue that runs along is called the diesel line. Cut it using your scissors as close to the edge as possible to the outer edge of the dorsal carapace of the cephalothorax. Using a soft probe, gently lift up the posterior end, removing and scraping the inner surface, removing the soft tissues attached to the dorsal carapace of the cephalothorax. Lift away the dorsal wall of the dorsal portion of the cephalothorax or the exoskeleton, revealing the anatomy that's inside. The heart is located inside the pericardial sac. Be careful not to rip the top of the heart off and remove it with the exoskeleton. The hepatopancreas is a large orange-yellow organ in which some of the above organs are embedded. Next is the gills, with a thin layer of tissue that covers the gills. This thin layer of tissue is removed together with a cephalothorax when you dissect it. So the gill chamber is actually isolated from the hemocele chamber inside. Notice the gills come to a point so that the heart can beat, pulse, and push the blood received from the gills out to the body. The whole region up here is the stomach of the crab. It is a large, oval, muscular sac just beneath the gastric region of the carapace. The yellowish bulbous material is the digestive gland or digestive cecum. If the gonads are present, the gonads will be anterior to this digestive cecum or digestive glands, so the gonads will be right under the edge. The inner surface of the dorsal wall of the carapace is opened and we can see now is the pericardial chamber or sac and in here, we can see more clearly the heart with two large ostia. The ostia are the openings through which the heart receives blood. They contract and push the blood out to the rest of the body of the animal. In fact, crustaceans have an open circulatory system with a fluid called hemolymph which is analogous to the blood in vertebrates. Again, these structures here are the gills. Up here, we have exposed the stomach. A stomach is a large organ. It has muscles attached to it. These muscles allow the stomach to push and pull. Inside of a stomach is a structure called gastric meal that crabs use to provide additional chewing or grinding to what the mandibles did. Coming off from the posterior end of the stomach is the antestine, which has not been exposed yet but runs ventral to the heart and comes to this point, turns the corner, and then goes out to the abdomen where the anus is located. For male crabs, the testes should be white in color or visible when the animal is reproductive and ripe. A gill cleaner is also present on both sides, which is an appendage located on the first epipod. It has a long setae coming off. They use this to stroke back and forth across the gills to literally brush them and keep them clean. Another gill cleaner is located ventrally aside from the ones located dorsally. Dissecting a crab requires thorough attention and detail. Just like any other experiments, it requires careful and intentional movement. Therefore, it is important to follow the proper procedures. And that's it for today's episode on the external and internal anatomy of the crab. Some of you may find it boring or time-consuming to dissect, but one can still find positive aspects in this task. Let's learn together online only here at the Wata channel. If you have questions or you have something to share, just comment down below. 
like and subscribe. Bye!